everyone. Today we're going to be looking at my cache drive for my Unraid server and we're going to be upgrading it. So if I go on over to main here and we look at my cache devices, you'll see I am running a Sabrent one terabyte NVMe drive. And right now I switched over to the XFS file system from BTRFS because there's a bug in version 8.63 that makes it write like freaking crazy and wear out the drive if you use a BTRFS file system on your cache drive. So fixing, switching it over to XFS has definitely reduced the amount of writes that I have going to the cache drive. But in the meantime, I still am pretty hard on it. So if I click on cache and get the smart data, I've only had this drive for maybe eight months but you'll see, if you look in the attributes here, the percentage of used, which is how much have I used the flesh, how worn out is it, I'm already at 50%, which is kind of weird because if you look at data units written, I've written 350 terabytes to this drive in eight months. Now, if we go over to Sabrent, and this review is, was originally from Legit Reviews, they have the information and we take the basic information for the one terabyte that I have, we can see that the max sequential read is 3.4 gigabytes a second, maximum write is 3 gigabits per second, um, and then if we keep on going down here, here's the big thing. It's rocket one terabyte, 1 1.6 terabytes, or 1.6, sorry, 1.6 petabytes, total write endurance. I'm nowhere near that half point, but for some reason it says I'm already used 50% of the capacity on this drive. So something's up with it. It still runs fine, but I need something with more endurance. So we're going to be upgrading this drive today, but we're not going to be using a little gum stick style like what I have right now. We're going to switch over. Let me switch my screen to this. I just won this the other day from an eBay auction. This originally cost, when it came out in 2014, $3,700. You can normally buy these used now for $700. I won this on eBay auction for $265. So this is what we're upgrading to today. First off, let's get the uh, bracket out of the way and let's open it on up and see what we got here. Let's get that out of here. You can already get an idea of what it is. This is a Intel P3700 series, two terabytes. So it's double the capacity of what I originally had. But the big difference is if I switch back over, there we go. Haha, -ha, there we go. Now, if we go back over to the screen here and we go over to Intel's information for this um, SSD. You can see it's not quite as fast, and it did come out quarter two, 2014. It is two terabytes, the one I'm looking at, and it's discontinued. Uh, instead of, what the heck was Sabrent rated for? Uh, 34 and 3000. This is rated for 28 and 1900. Uh, conversely, as well, random read and random write. Uh, Sabrent is 650k and 640k, whereas this is 450k and 175k. So this drive is not nearly as fast as a little gum stick, but here's the kicker. The Sabrent was rated for 1.6 petabytes total. This one, 62 petabytes written. That's what it's rated for. JDEC workload or 17 drive writes per day. I'm never going to get anywhere near that using my Unraid server, but it's great to know that that is there and available. And that's why I picked up this drive. I wanted something with a lot of endurance. It's still plenty fast. It will work perfectly fine. But uh, this will also probably last at least another 10 years, no matter what I do to it. So before we go ahead and install this into the Unraid box, we kind of need to put this bracket on. And they shipped it this way, so this way it can fit in the box a little easier, and I'm great, grateful for that. So you'll have to excuse any noise upstairs. 
the uh, human malware does not allow the kids to go out as often as I would like to. So bear with me there. And I need to get some of these videos out because I got a backlog of so much stuff I want to get done. Okay, so now we got the bracket on, and you can see this takes an X4 slot. Uh, I don't have an X4 slot. We're going to be using an X16 slot, which is still perfectly fine. So now that we have this assembled, let's shut down the server and go on over and install it real quick. Okay, we are down. So, sorry there's not that much light right here, but let's get this installed real quick. It doesn't take much. Out. Pop this in. There we go. Simple as that. Turn it back on. Let's go back over to the computer while we wait for this to uh, finish starting up. Okay, we are back. And it looks like everything's up. So, let's go to our main and look for the new drive now. Which, there it is, right there. Let's see if we can get some smart information on this. And we can see, this drive's barely been used. 376 gigabytes, that's it. This drive is essentially brand new, so it still has all the endurance, and I got it for $265. Can you freaking believe it? Okay, although it's been on for quite some time. What is that, about six months worth or so? Something like that? Not that big of a deal. Okay, so for the last thing we want to take a look at here, to wrap this up, let's go to disk speed. Let's scan everything. Okay. Now, my original drive I had going on was my one terabyte down here. And we can see it does peak right around three gigabytes a second. Uh, I've done a few tests on it, but you can see for some reason I had a big dip here this one time, but I wouldn't take that as gospel. The other two, it the line stays right around about 2.5 to 3 gigs on the speed test for benchmark. So let's find the new two terabyte here. And I think it's time to benchmark this drive. Show me all smart data. Yep, we are good. So let's benchmark it and see what we get. Okay, so here's our original one terabyte where you can see it runs right around 2.5, 2.7. Yeah, well, 2.5, 2.7. There's one little peak here, 2.9 is the best. And our two terabyte one, that we just did again we have this weird little dip halfway through the drive that has to be something to do with unraid or whatever i don't think that's indicative of the drive itself because again the one terabyte the one test did the same thing and it's just not indicative but everything else shows up 2.5 2.6 and after the dip we're like 2.2 2.3 it's not that much slower so it's still a very fast drive, but the whole reason for this upgrade was longevity. This drive will last forever. So that pretty much concludes this video, and that's why I think this, if you can get a good deal like I did at $265 for this P3700 drive, is the best ultimate cache drive that you could ever really use for Unraid. Now, if you need something even faster than this, uh, like you need 10 gigabytes per second write speed, Unraid is not for you to begin with. So that is outside of the class of what Unraid was made for. It's made primarily as a data and a media server slash backup. It is not made for real-time editing remotely off of a NAS or something like that. In that case, you're looking more like free NAS or open media vault or something else like that. But for Unraid, this is the perfect cache drive you could ever get as long as you can get as good of a deal as I did on eBay. So hunt around, thumbs up please, uh, any comments down below, and I will see you on the next video.